I feel like I haven't done one of these little food shop videos in so long and they're really fun and easy for me to film and you guys seem to love them so this is a little top up I've done at Sainsbury's and Home Buggins. So hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I think this is gonna be a little bonus video. I haven't filmed one of these videos in like so, so long. Um, and then I just got home and thought, you know what, let's, let's chat. Cause I feel like there was a lot to chat about. Um, I went to Home Bargains, home since tk maxx like a teeny teeny tiny bit and sainsbury's so let's do it in the order that i did it in uh so first up home sense not home sense home bargains you got these don't like them um i like these lentil crisps but these ones are cheese but they're vegan cheese flavor and um, they kind of have a weird dill taste um so i will eat them but i won't buy them again um, and then I also got this huge pack of prawn crackers. I love prawn crackers. Um, so I need to cook myself a Chinese or something. So I've got some nasty little bug bites. So I just got this Urax cream. I don't know if that's the right thing I needed, but uh, then obviously got my two packs of paracetamol and the very hot topic tablet um <laughs> some diarrhea pills oh it just uh yeah it is what it is um i also got a pack of the compied blister packs because again when i was on holiday i got really really nasty nasty blisters um so um jp picked me up some of these but i just thought i just need to buy some to have in my handbag at all times because you never know when they're gonna hit and how bad they are um, then I also got some Chinese salt and pepper seasoning for like chicken tenders, um, chips and stuff like that. Sauteed, sauteed, sauteed fried potatoes. Then I had to give this a go. This is a flump vanilla marshmallow soda drink. I'm just intrigued. I love flumps and I love like cream soda. Then these were really cheap. Woo! my bag's falling off these were really cheap um so i decided to give them a go i'm just recovering from a cold guys and i'm just a teeny bit of levies <laughs> um but these are a really good price and i love spinach and ricotta um tortellini they're great obviously just with like pesto but they're also really nice in soups um and stuff like that so for how much they were they've also they're while they're in the fridge they have a very very long shelf life um so just a great little staple to have in the fridge uh if i ever like sometimes with work i don't have time to food shop so it's really great to have these things that just can last a little while in the fridge and then this oh, if you love brie but you don't like the rind this is awesome. This is literally uh, the creamy bit of the brie without the rind. It's about 150, uh, delicious on like a fresh French baguette. Uh, yummy. And then finally, the last thing I got um, was this Indie Grand uh, Korma sauce in this like sachet. It just looked really yummy. Mongali style korma curry cooking sauce made with coconut cream, yogurt, almonds, and aromatic spices. I think this was like a pound. Um, it just looked really yummy and I wanted to give it a go. So that's everything I got from Home Bargains. I did want to get some more toiletry stuff, but they didn't have what I was looking for. That's the unfortunate thing with Home Bargains is if you're looking for a specific brand of something and like sometimes they have them in, sometimes they don't have them in. And unfortunately today, they didn't have them in where's the little thing i got from home sense so home sense tk maxx if you're looking for autumn harvest fall decor you need to get going down to your home sense now it's all out it's all on the shelves um i think they're obviously going to get more in but obviously first come first serve the cute stuff always goes first the stuff that everyone's kind of talking about on tiktok and stuff i didn't buy anything because i bought so much stuff last year and this year i only want to buy 
I don't know if I'm going to buy anything at all, to be honest, but if I do, it will literally be one or two things. And while there was lots of really, really cute stuff, it wasn't anything that, well, there was a reef that I loved, but I already have a, a really nice reef that has got at least another year, probably two years of life in it still. So I didn't buy it, even though I really, really, really liked it. Uh, but I've got a really cute reef that I'm going to put up anyway um, that, I've already, that I've already got. So I saved myself 20 quid and some loads of gorgeous candles as well. But again, I have a backlog of candles. The only one candle I want to get it's a chai apple cupcake candle from DW Home. If you see it, <laughs> please get it me and I'll pay for it at the postage. <laughs> I love that candle so much. It smells so yummy. I had a big one last year and it's just the smell of it went around the whole... I always had it in the kitchen. Uh, but it was huge and I'd light it, like I keep it lit all day and oh, I can't wait. I think I'm going to buy a bit, one big autumn candle for the kitchen just because I do like to have that in the kitchen. But anyway, I'm going off on one. But yeah, if you are looking for haul, haul, fall, autumn, well, well, they also had loads of Halloween stuff, um, then get down ASAP. The only thing I did end up picking up was this wet brush, but it's more of like... It's kind of a detangler and, well, look at my hair, guys. My, I don't know, like, what my sleeping is like at the moment because I wake up with an actual bird's nest on my head. Um, and while I have obviously got the keratin treatment, I don't know what I'm doing. I must be tossing and turning like crazy. Um, so I just need a brush that can detangle as well as just, like, make my hair look nice. <laughs> um, I think it's made with some sort of plant-based plastic which I'm not too worried about with all the bristles so that was $5.99 from $16.99 never ever ever buy a um wet brush from full price or tangle teaser go to TK Maxx they have them um in all shapes and sizes so Sainsbury's this is a top-up shop um I this I went to the big Sainsbury's in Hedge End I live the other side of town to that, so it's a treat. If anyone knows the Hedge End Sainsbury's, they know. They know. It's got it's got habitat, it's got the good two clothing, it's got the pick and mix lint chocolate. It's got it all. It's got like loads of like um like sushi, pizzas, really good cake bar at the back. <laughs> So it's a real treat to go there uh, and they have a really good world food section as well. So of course, I feel like I always buy the same stuff in a lot of videos, but of course, candy floss grapes. Um, it's not a Becky food haul video if she doesn't have the candy floss grapes. And while getting them, I nearly got my foot run over by someone on an electric wheelchair. She just kept reversing backwards and forwards and without a care in the world. Um, and as well, it's always a staple. Um, it's the Hovis soft white thick um i really like it and also at the moment i've only got like pitters and the last of my bagels i'm trying not to over buy bread i love carbs um and i love bread products and i want i want bagels i want pitters i want rolls i want bread it's really hot and wraps i want it all um but obviously i just want like one of each thing um so for having to be good and like eat the whole pack before buying my next bread <laughs> if you know what I mean. Now, these are so good. Han used to live under a Chinese um, or Asian supermarket, whatever you want to call it. I think these are Thai. Are they? Th uh, they're uh, ta Taiwanese. Um, so yeah, Asian supermarket. And I, we picked them up and tried these. Uh, super, super yummy. They're little noodle cubes in like a like a barbecue but like a soy asian barbecue flavoring super yummy super delicious um so i bought them for the office for us to have then i just got some cheese string i love cheese string guys um i think it's just like a childhood thing um and they were on offer for a good price and i'm always shocked at the calories there are 61 calories per like per string which i always thought they would be a lot more because it's cheese so yeah i was really pleased with that i suppose um and then this is something i got in the um 
world food aisle and i really want to try them these are peanuts with a coconut cream flavored coating i think these are thai um and they didn't have many left on the shelf so i'm guessing they're quite popular and i'm thinking like they might be kind of a bit like a satay <sighs> scary you only get half the pack Very crunchy. Hmm. They're quite nice. I think they'd be good with like a drink. Hmm. Quite sweet. But they're kind of giving me satay vibes. They were... I had to get a nectar card, guys, because... Sainsbury's finally decided to, to bite the bullet and pull a club card and you now have to have a nectar card to get certain deals. So I think they were like 250 or something with a nectar card. Um, the thing that I went for, <laughs> simple wipes. Uh, these are the biodegradable ones. Um, I know people, oh no, these. Oh no, they've got a huge hole in them. Oh no. They're still wet though. I wonder if I did that. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. I don't really want to go all the way back. Um, I might just use them ones first. Um, then this I got for my office. Um, Sainsbury's and Habitat's like candle section is so bougie um, so I got this uh, coffee morning coffee scented diffuser creamy notes of morning latte with hazelnut are blended with smooth vanilla to create a unique scent that will fill your home just a super like aesthetic um, bottle and then I also got the refill I love that they do refills um, at Habitat because it just is just a bit more like environmentally friendly um and it keeps it going longer for, for, so i think you get i think the re the rediffuser was 12 pound and the refill was 12 pound but the the refill has two um two refills in if it makes sense i'm talking of coffee i got some mocha uh califia farms because it was on offer and i love iced coffee then i got a couple of little treats from the bakery section because it just looks so good i got a tiramisu brownie and it's got like a tiramisu icing on the top and um, these have got like quite a few days for me to eat them so and then this one is a really rich red velvet brownie and that one has got thick frosting on uh, so i just want to treat myself to those then this was on a really good offer i think it was 350 higgity quiches just higgity anything to be honest are just delicious um i particularly like their quiche and i like their spinach and cheese veg muffins but all of their stuff is just so tasty they put so many seasonings in um and obviously all the ingredients are really good quality as well so pick that up i'm going to be doing some packed lunches next week so I might have that for lunch one day as like the main um i got some chicken for that korma sauce i got from home bargains and i'll probably add some like potatoes and peas as well and then this is another thing i got from the world food section um can you tell i just love trying things this is just called japanese style mango jelly i love mango and was just so curious i've never seen this before obviously you get four little sachets okay so you don't get many you don't get many and it feels very squishy okay please chew carefully and swallow slowly so not to be choked wow i'm scared whoa it's like a jelly They'd be nice out of the fridge. It's like literally like a little milky jelly. Mmm. Really nice. But I'd definitely put them in the fridge. Mmm. 
really yummy i like them they were kind of expensive now though now i've now i know what i've bought so they're about 50 pence each and <laughs> i've just eaten one <laughs> but if you can get them on offer or somewhere cheaper they're really nice i like them and then i've got some ham for sandwiches then i got these oh guys i'm so excited for these they have done these kind of like pan fried gnocchis in france for so long um they are these ones are filled with carbonara but they've done one with like cheese one with pesto i think maybe one with like mushrooms i want to try the carbonara ones but you literally fry them um i think you do olive oil or butter like whatever you fancy and um they've got them on the back here with like a breakfast i would probably just have these as the meal um you could put them with a sauce as well if you want to um but i probably like put the sauce on the side to like dip but i'm very excited for them got some more wipes these ones haven't been busted open um ham and cheese croquettes they're part of the summer range i just i like i like ham and cheese i'm a bit of a basic b when it comes to flavor combinations but not when it comes to yogurt <laughs> i got the spanish honey and ginger yogurt i love their taste the difference yogurt says so luxurious and then i got the apricot and amaretti summer edition they also had a gooseberry flapjack flavor but i was like nah not for me but i'm so excited for sainsbury's autumn range to come because they go hard and then the final things i got was just a couple of little milkshakes because for whatever reason as well sainsbury's have like a really good like kind of like niche milkshake section um i got the shaken udder salted caramel milkshake and these have really long sell-by dates on as well i think so um i don't have to drink everything all at once and then this one's my favorite this one is the tom parker strawberries and cream and it's so good so it was a little top part. oh and then oh, i forgot to show you that like the most important thing my new lunchbox bag so on instagram at becca wren i did an insta story because i went ahead and looked at the, the lunch boxes first and i only saw like two and they were a little bit colorful like they like at the end of the day these were like school kid lunch boxes so they're aimed at, at like 12 year old girls so they they were 12 year old girl style but i was like you know what they're cute i need i've been looking for a lunchbox for ages so i thought okay they're they're cute but i didn't know which one to go for so i asked you guys and you guys it was quite a close poll to be honest but then i went back and then i had a closer look and there was a couple that were like right 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 at the back of the shelves <clears throat> one was a really cute daisy one that i almost got um but then i saw this one and the reason why i like this one is because it has got handles uh, that i can put my arm through so if i want to carry this on its own with my backpack if it's like full of other stuff i can it's also like not childish at all i think this is quite a sophisticated little lunchbox moment um i like that it has a front zip as well so if i want to put some like cutlery or something that i don't want to keep cold in there i can um but then it's also got like a really nice zip top as well and it is all insulated so and like wipe clean too so really really happy with this this is by a brand called smash um and it was at sainsbury's i think this was like 11 quid which is is how much i would spend on a lunch in london on a day so it's worth it um but yeah that is everything i've got it's just a little kind of like top up and little treats that i can't get at, at other supermarkets um but yeah that is the end of the video hope you enjoyed it i know some of you guys really really like these videos and to be honest i like watching these videos too so i hope you enjoyed it of course i've got my cotton candy grapes and my hovis bread but some other really new exciting things to try and some open wet wipes which is great <laughs> but anyway i hope you're having um I, I hope you're having some fun i know the weather's been a bit rubbish so i'm hoping you'll be able to find some fun things to do uh, but i think the weather's picking up soon fingers crossed so yeah hope you're able to enjoy your summer even though it's a bit gray but at least we're not all boiling in a heat wave so i'll catch you very soon don't forget to subscribe like and leave me a comment down below what do you like to buy most from sainsbury's um i would love to know so i can try it next time i'll see you very soon bye